All right, hey everybody. Um, welcome to our baby reveal live on Facebook. Um, so we have set up a trick shot slash Rube Goldberg mechanism. Um, thanks to my husband who is also the cameraman. Do you wanna turn yourself around real quick? Hello. <laughs> so um, we're glad that you guys could join us on Facebook Live. I hope the connectivity is good. We're on our uh, data network here in New Hampshire. Um, so we have a few people that are um, looking, I know from their computers at home, and um, I know one of my friends, Jeanette, was going to call in from the Great Britain all the way across the, the pond there. So I hope you're, you're here and hi. Um, so what we have set up is um, a trick shot. So I'm going to shoot uh, my bow, which is a Bowtech Ivashaki signature series, at um, this target, which is rated for broadheads. I've got a broadhead set up on my arrow. I need to break that string. You want to walk up close? I'm not going to shoot Josh. <laughs> There's the string. The string connects through a pulley. And that'll open up a mechanism. That'll swing an arm. That'll pop a balloon. That'll reveal the gender of the baby. <laughs> So, I'm going to sure hope I get it right the first time, but if I don't, I hope y'all will be patient um, and we'll try again. Um, the reason we wanted to do this live is to make it a really big, exciting reveal for our family. We don't live near our family. Um, we're out here in New Hampshire. And um, I wanted to make sure we could share this moment with all of you. And um, so shout outs to everyone in Kentucky and in Cincinnati and in Portland and in Boston, um, thanks for being here with us. And we've got, um, we're at a friend's house, and we've got a couple friends, is that a belly shot, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got a couple friends who are um, being gracious enough to take pictures of this also, so um, even if the video doesn't turn out to be super high quality, we'll post some pictures of it later. Um, and one of the reasons that we wanted to do an archery trick shot and a Rube Goldberg mechanism is that it really shows um, who Josh and I are and we hope that our passion for um, both the shooting sports and for creative um, furniture building and um, Josh did all of this on his uh, ShopBot CNC machine. Um, so we hope that we'll be able to pass on some of that passion um, to our little bean here. Um, they might not love what we love but we sure hope they love something and that um, our being excited about this works out um, to inspire them. All right, so we are going to try this live. I'm going to take a little bit to focus on the shot. I practiced this a lot and got it right about 50% of the time. So that's why I've got backup arrows. <laughs> so here we go. I didn't quite get it. Um, very close. <laughs> but we have to nick that string pretty much spot on, so. She made a good shot, but not quite close enough. That's pretty darn good. Take one more shot there. Right around it, she's touching the string. So, what more can you ask of a pregnant lady? Okay. All right, wife, you can do this. You can do this. <laughs> At least y'all got to see that I got close. 
<laughs> Are people commenting? Oh yeah. Wait, what, hey, you got like 25 people. <laughs> Tom Pike says you need sharper broadheads. Yeah. <laughs> These are turkey broadheads and they're two and three quarter inch diameter. So it's just a matter of timing the twist of it right to make sure I can slice that. I know you could do it. All right, here you go. Oh. All right, Em. I know, it is really exciting. She has made this shot. She actually made it like on her first try when we were practicing, so um, even with a two and three quarter inch diameter, it's tough to cut a string. Oh, wow, those are like right on top. <laughs> they are, you're, you're remarkably consistent. It's like you've practiced this for years or something. All right. This is how it really works at Dude Perfect. They take like 20 shots. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, it's like resting against the string. I don't know how that didn't cut it, Em. I can. Yes, I will let you get this set up. All right, everybody, hang in there. <laughs> hang in there. I know you're all as, as excited as we are, but when you're trying to cut a tiny, tiny little string, she has hit all around it. All around it, and really right on top of it. But I think the arrow was just rotated a little wrong, so we'll take a quick look at this again. And we'll see very soon. You could do it. Everybody is cheering you on. You got about 40 people watching. No pressure. I really want to. No pressure. <laughs> um, knife throw next, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> if she had an air gun, this would be long done. Yeah, we'd be done by now. That's right. Those flathead pellets don't really cut string, though. I don't know. <laughs> you are sinking them through that target. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. It's just not quite hitting the string. Your arrow is rotated just a little bit. You just want to make your husband work. Yeah, she's having me she's having me chase around these arrows and do the filmography. Do you want to talk a little about your how you built it? Oh, I can. Yeah. Um so I combined a bunch of different neat mechanism designs that I had come up with. Um, we got hammers, we got a big iris mechanism, and a lever, and springs, and gears, and all kinds of things, and it, it really uh, is, it's built uh, in a way that is uh, representative of how I like to do things, which is more complicated than they need to be. <laughs> so, all right, Emily. Oh no! Oh my gosh, I'll shoot the balloon. You'll shoot the balloon. Okay, here we go. It hit right on the tape. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. All right, here we go, everybody. She got it. There we go. The burst of blue powder. We're having a boy. We are having a boy. All right, good job, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. They're patient. They all love you. Yep. Everybody. And the more important thing is I was grouping well, so you can always move your shots onto the target if you're grouping well. She so grouped wonderfully. I'm happy with that. <laughs> that would have been a um, a very well struck target. Otherwise, <clears throat> she was hunting. So. Well, thanks. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I want to just real quick turn the camera around, and we'll see if there are any questions um, that you guys have for us. Um, thanks for the congratulations, everybody. Yeah, we're so excited. Ginger Baby is a boy, um, and can't wait, can't wait to meet him, can't wait to share our love of shooting and hunting and um, building cool mechanisms. I'm sure Legos are in our future. Um, thanks for waiting, Mike. <laughs> I appreciate that. Walk up there. <laughs> um, so we'll walk up here, lay my bow down safely. 
Um, yeah, I'm really happy.